Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. And if you don't mind, I would like to try and blow your mind right now. <laughs> okay, kind of cheesy. But what I'm trying to show you is I made some pretty big upgrades to the compendium, which is a kind of collection of sort of the plain language commands that you could use maybe in Jarvis or shortly AI. Um, of course, this isn't like a, the... The list of only of the, of the only commands that you can do inside of these tools, essentially, your creativity is the is the limit. And over time, I'm going to continue to add more and more. But I want to show you something really, really cool. I think it's cool. I hope you think it's cool. I think it's going to help you write your content much faster, much better, and give you some more ideas. That I and then I hope that you share them with me, and we make this companion even better over time. Um, but I made some really big updates and that is you, if you've seen the compendium, you've seen this before, this is not updated, but if I go down here, you see this toggle filter and enter your topic. Okay. This is where things kind of get a little crazy. So toggle will take away the sort of instructions and stuff that are in here. And, um, let me just toggle it away. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more just the commands are left. So if we go down to accomplishments, right? So if we go to, if we hit toggle and we go back down to accomplishments, right? It has all the sort of help, helpful instructions and some of the results and stuff like that. But if you don't need to read all that and you just want the commands, you can toggle and it'll show just the commands. Now there's a lot of commands and there used to be a sort of table of contents over here, but it was kind of clunky and it's not necessary anymore. Um, once you get accustomed to the compendium, you kind of know what's in it and you learn what, when I add new things, I'll announce them to you anyways. But let's say that you're looking for myths. You just go up here to filter, M-Y-T-H, myths. There it is. Now here's where I want to show you something really cool. What is your topic? Let's say that your topic is um, hunting for ramen in Tokyo. Look at that. Hunting for ramen in Tokyo is now added into the myths. You can just copy this out and paste it into Jarvis. Give me a list of myths about hunting for ramen in Tokyo. I have no idea if there's any myths about that, but let's see if Jarvis wants to play along. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, hey, cool. It did. Excellent. Okay. So, okay. What if, it doesn't quite fit. Like, give me a list of myths about, like, what if we wanted to be common myths or something instead, where you just kind of want to tweak it a little bit. Uh, like, kind of like how down here is common misconceptions. Let's, let's, let's just change it. Mm hmm Yep. You can just write right in there and change the command. Copy it again. Go back over to Jarvis. Or shortly. These work in shortly as well. And run it. Probably give, rough, hopefully, roughly the same thing. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So that's myths. You could also do, let's see what we got. Poems, poems, uh, letters. Uh, here's one that's really cool. Let me take this away and see if it actually, let's think of something else. Let's say, hmm, finding great. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the difficulty of finding good sushi in America. <laughs> I live in Tokyo, Japan, so, you know, <laughs> sushi, great sushi is pretty much everywhere. All right, now, if you're a YouTuber, you're making videos and things like that, you kind of need a few things like titles, maybe a script or a hook, things like that. Check this out, video. And while you're toggled, you can kind of see everything nicely. But when you're toggled out and you can read the descriptions and the results, but toggle it down. And now you have video description, hook, outline, titles, all already have your topic in them. You just copy and paste them into Jarvis or shortly and get on with your work. Hopefully helping you create your video much faster than you would have otherwise. So yeah, that's it. That's so essentially what I added to the compendium are three little things. I mean, I toggle and filter were technically already there, but you know, I kind of tweaked them a little bit, made them a little easier, a little bit better. So you can toggle everything down. 
You can filter by what you want. Acronyms, letters, baby name, oh, baby names, before, after, bridge, Ida, you know, that kind of stuff. You can filter by what you want. And then you can enter your topic and the topic will get updated throughout. Now, let me show you something though, before we close this out, not all of the instructions or the commands have like editable or I guess they're, they're tweakable with this whole enter the topic thing. But if we just say our topic is ramen, there's going to be some like right down here, acronyms, right? Focus, action, success. This, this example just doesn't have a good way of like using your topic. You have to change it up. You know, it's an individual thing. Same thing for this one here. Cause it's showing how you would use like write an Ida for the, or an Ada, write an Ada for the above. I keep saying Ida. Maybe it's like my Japanese language in me. Um, but you have a paragraph that you want to have an Ada created for. You know, then you do something like this. But down here, I did make it so that it uses your topic. Um, before after bridge has something similar. Basically, anywhere where it needs to do some work on something above it, there's no real sense in having like some topic changeable on it, right? So yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, that's everything I want to show you. Those are my updates to the compendium. If you want to uh, have a chat about it, I'm sure I'll have posted this in Facebook groups everywhere and also down below. If you don't have Jarvis yet or shortly, um, please use the links down below in the description. It would really help the dojo and really helps me create these tools and guides and things like that because Jarvis, the Jarvis team will give me a small commission at no extra cost to you. And um, that would really help me out and I really appreciate it. Uh, if, also, if you're not in the AI Content Dojo Facebook group, do a search on Facebook, get in there. Uh, we just talk about things about AI content creation and help each other out. So until next time, take care.